taxi driver, truck driver, and bus driver spend a six-month sabbatical in Italy. <laughs> By the end of that six months, they would either be a terrific defensive driver or dead. <laughs> and in either case, the rest of humanity is better off. <laughs> My second observation is that we have a magician driving this bus. Yeah. yeah. I probably didn't know that this bus is too wide to go through the east attack lane. <laughs> so every time we get ready to go through, it squeezes like an accordion. And we go through, and you don't even realize it. He truly is a magician. And Giuseppe, on behalf of everyone, for getting us safely through this obviously unsafe country, you have our eternal gratitude. <laughs> Last observation has to do with Brigitta. We could not have handpicked a better tour guide. And I think it's because she is so much more than a tour guide. She is a helper, advisor, encyclopedia. And when we mess up, she doesn't get angry, she doesn't get mad with us, she gets kind of sad with us and ultimately makes it all better. And we don't feel too bad. But if somebody else messes up, like an airline, right, David? <laughs> she takes the problem away from us and makes it her own. Yep. It takes a special person to ride herd over 44 crazy Americans. <laughs> it takes an extraordinary person to do it the way that she does it. And Canadians. Oh, oh, excuse me, North Americans. <laughs> New Zealand. <laughs> English speaking people. <laughs> so I think I speak for everyone on this bus, Bridget, when I say that we appreciate you more than we could ever possibly describe. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bridget. That was so sweet. It was a pleasure having been with you, and I think Giuseppe feels the same way. Thank you very much. And we will have our farewell speech and farewell dinner, okay?